working on Tori's new Jeep Wrangler, which has been nothing but fun. Those are the videos we love making. I am excited to get back to working on the Duramax here, but I wanted to do something fun. And of course, if you couldn't tell by the title, we are not having fun with this truck and we are not loving it at the moment, but that's okay. We will get back to loving it with a little bit of help from you guys and everybody else. But we do have some issues going on with our wiring. Nothing scares me more than wiring. I'm not an electrician. I don't know nothing about it other than it's annoying, it's pesky, and a lot of things can go wrong in a hurry. So anyways, we have been having a lot of issues on the dash. When we stop and go in this truck, they go away, they clear themselves, and then the next stoplight, they do it again. We're talking brake light, low brake fluid, ABS, traction control, all this goofy stuff going on. So we are on the quest to figure out what's going on with this thing. Is it a ground issue? Is it a module issue? Is it a relay? What the heck is going on? I've been reading some of the forums but I want to take you guys through what's going on maybe you can help me out here and help everybody else like we did at the beginning of the channel with it's cold and my Duramax won't start we helped out thousands of people I'd like to try to help some people out so show some love in the comments any issues you guys might have had and what you did to fix it so that way you can help somebody else out with a similar wiring issue but let's dive into today's video all right, so just a quick follow-up. I'm on the driver's side here, going up underneath. Right here is the ground from this wire harness, and this is what I unplugged and cleaned up. I just took some steel wool and some sandpaper and cleaned it up real nice, plugged it back in, tightened it down. Gonna fire it up and see what we get. Okay, so hop up in here, cycle this booger on. Come on, lights. Engine light like normal, but I don't see the brake or the stability track light on. Okay, so let's go in and check our trouble codes here. Diagnostics. And hopefully it's just the two that we've always had. Definitely need to clean my screen. Oh shoot, now we're down to one. We got rid of one. Clear that booger. That's normal. That cycles through. Now, do we dare try our AC button? See if that works. Turn this down, turn this to that. AC, crank it. Well, we didn't fix the AC, but we got that darn stability track light to go. We might need to check a couple more connections here, but this wiring thing just never ends, does it? All right, so we are rolling out to OTR yet again. Our buddy Nate's gonna have to help me out on this one because I am just struggling to find either the correct ground location or maybe it's just a relay that's bad on this thing, but these lights on the dash are driving me absolutely insane and I don't want any electrical problems to get worse. Thank God the headlights and tail lights and everything seems to be working fine, but I don't want anything important to go out and then us be stranded or something like that. So hopefully Nate's got a scan tool or something that he can check or just tell me what the hell's going on with this thing. But we're gonna roll up in here, see how busy he is today. Maybe he won't have time for us. Just kind of dropping in with a moment's notice, not even saying anything, but we're on that kind of level now, at least I think. So let's swing in here and see if he can help us out at all. Oh yeah, look at the shop. Luckily, it doesn't look too crazy. They got some stuff going on. Some big old trucks over there getting looked at, but anyways, let's see what he's got going on today. All right, so we are just backing out. Of course, Nate let us right in the shop, said pull that sucker in and we'll look at it. So he was able to scan and check it out and it turned out it was a body control module. So now we need to do a little more research on what exactly that controls and what it's gonna take. But he tried to clear out all the faults for us in the system. They were all messed up. He couldn't clear the codes. It was a hard error. So anyways, he said it needs completely replaced most likely. So we're gonna get home, do some research on this module and see what you guys think. All right, so open up the door here, and supposedly it's down here somewhere. Obviously, that's my OBD2. Oh, I think this is it. Can you guys see that? I think the pictures on the forums were telling me this. So maybe somehow we got to rip this out, unplug this stuff, and see. But Or maybe we can reset it. But let's look at this and see what we can figure out. So I know it's kind of hard to see here, but the module itself was just clicked on in the back. So I, I undid a couple of the tabs, and it falls right out. And we should be able to unplug these wire harnesses. And I did get the part number off the back, too. But anyways, I can buy an OEM replacement one for around $100, $150, something like that. And that doesn't sound too bad, so I might go ahead and order one of those. The only trouble is it shows that it needs to be programmed by like a dealer. But we might go ahead and order this sucker and see if this will fix our issues. What do you guys think? Is it going to work? Is it going to not? 
Stay tuned. Oh boy, and just showed up from DHD. Here is what's supposed to be. Come on now, boy. This is supposed to be our GM body control module for the 15 LML. So hopefully this is the right deal and we can get this sucker down. Let's see. Look at that original GM box. So you know it's good. Open that sucker up and let's get this down to Ovi. Okay, and we are pulling up to overtime diesel here with our new part ready to get this installed. Obviously recruited Ovi to help us out on this. He's the one that helped us. When we had that 20 plus thousand dollar accident, he did a lot of the logistics for us and getting sure we got rebuilt. Never asked for a dime. This dude has so much experience with this kind of stuff. It's gonna be unbelievable. So we're just rolling up here, but let's see what he's got going on here and if he Ramming through now, right? Oh, he's got it yep. dialed in. I see the light dash lights going crazy, which is about what it does when it drives anyway. So we're not any worse off at this point, but hopefully this goes through and this can clear some of our codes. And even if we don't get them all, if we get 95% of them and it doesn't piss me off when I'm trying to drive and I can't hear the music because all the dinging. But anyways, this is the shop down here. Look at this, all this custom stuff, man. You gotta be kidding me. So you can see we got a bunch of fine vehicles out here at the Overtime Diesel. Check out all these nice rigs. A lot of Fords needing work out here. What you know about that? But all kinds of good stuff. You wanna come down, you know he's gonna take care of you. Down here, we got the Duramax in the shop here behind me here. So a little bit of rain out here, a little sprinkle, but it's nice. It's in there getting programmed and ready to go. And hopefully this BCM replacement gets us through, gets us going. But it's definitely fun being down here. Just talking, just having fun down here at the old overtime diesel. So anyways, let's get back in there. Okay, look at that, everybody. No freaking lights on at all. Ovi is the freaking man. I'm super pumped about this. Avoided the dealership and dude just totally hooked us up. We got to get this re going again, but that's okay. Man, couldn't be more spectacular. Look at this sucker. Still got the TPMS dash light on because the big tires. Got to put my seat belt on, obviously. But other than that, I think we freaking got it. All right, just backing out of the shop here, trying not to hit anything that would be ideal. But yeah, you can see all the vehicles. Next one up can head on in. And rest assured, they're going to take care of you. I know I'm giving Ovi like the biggest shout out ever, but Overtime Diesel, folks, is where it's freaking at. Look at this chomper right here, boy. All right, don't hit anything, boy. <laughs> Backing out and filming. This is not recommended by any means. Too much stuff going on out here, but yes, absolutely pumped about this. Look at that booger. That booger's nice right there. Oh yeah, they got it all now. And bow, we are back home now from Overtime Diesel. And well, let's just say the repair, well, the excitement has been short lived because as soon as we leave and get down the road and start the stop and go traffic again, all the dang lights came right back on yet again. So super frustrated. At least we're not out a bunch of money. That was a really cheap replacement. And honestly, it cleared some things. Other things came on. Then it went back to the same old stuff again, and I don't know, it's just a mess. So pretty much to say this is turning into part one of two for the series. I would keep going on this, but I don't want to bore you guys to death. And I just want some feedback from what you guys think it is. You know, Ovi's going to link back up with me, and he wants to go for a ride, see the things come on the dash, and try to get some live data as we go, so he'll be able to plug in and check things as we're rolling down the road. So stay tuned for part two, but make sure you put down in the comments what you think we're going for and what it's going to end up being in the end, but we do need to get to the bottom of this, and we do need to know what's going on. It's been happening for too long. I'm frustrated. Plus, it's good Duramax content again, and I'm super pumped about Ovi's shop and everything he's got going on there, so we definitely need to get back in there for some fun stuff, too. He does all kinds of side-by-side -side work, too. We'll show you at some point, but he was pumped to show me things. He wants to hang out more and do some cool stuff, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. We are progressing. We're almost to 500 subscribers now, and I'm not really too worried about, you know, the numbers this, numbers that. 
that. When we're looking at watch hours, you guys are watching the crap out of these videos, those of you that are here. So I don't want to turn this into, oh, I'm not this, I'm not that with all these followers. The followers we got are showing so much love and support. You guys are freaking awesome. So thank you all so much. We'll see you in part two. Peace.